At least 50% of the water quality problems in the United States result from stormwater runoff, or what is also known as non-point source pollution. As the urban landscape continues to increase, so does the amount of stormwater runoff. Stormwater runoff is generated from rain and snowmelt that flows over natural land and impervious surfaces, such as paved streets, parking lots, sidewalks, and building rooftops. These hard surfaces do not allow rain or snowmelt to infiltrate or soak into the ground. Infiltration is the process by which water on the ground surface enters the soil. As the water is absorbed by the soil, the soil and the plants in the soil cleanse and store water. In addition, infiltration is the main way the aquifers from which many people get their water are recharged. In the natural environment, only 10% of stormwater ends up as runoff, whereas in the urban environment, up to 55% of stormwater ends up as runoff. As stormwater runoff flows over hard surfaces, it can pick up pollutants such as litter and trash, fertilizer and pesticides, sediment, and fluids left behind by leaking vehicles. Polluted runoff and water in storm drains receives no treatment, so pollutants are then carried and deposited directly into the nearest water body. This affects the health of us all, but you can play a role in protecting our water resources by managing the flow of stormwater in your home landscape. There are many ways you can manage the flow of stormwater in your home landscape. One way to encourage infiltration instead of runoff is to create more permeable or pervious surfaces around your home. You can do this by introducing more planted areas and by using permeable paving or gravel instead of asphalt or concrete when possible. Another way to manage stormwater flow at home is to plant native flowers, shrubs, and trees because native plants have extensive root systems that are good for slowing and filtering stormwater as it flows across your landscape. Native plants also are adapted to your local climate, so they will require less water once they are established. You can also manage stormwater by installing rain barrels. Rain barrels are placed at your downspouts to collect rainwater as it flows off your roof that can then be used to water your lawns, flower gardens, or house plants. The water collected in rain barrels is not potable or drinkable, so it should not be used to irrigate or wash edible plants. A one inch rainfall on a 1,000 square foot roof can yield as much as 600 gallons of water that's like 12 bathtubs worth of water that you could save for reuse on those dry summer days. It is said that 40% of a home's water usage in the summer is outside, watering lawns and flower gardens. Imagine having extra water to use instead of drawing from your well or faucet. Rain gardens are another method for managing water in your home landscape. Rain gardens have a shallow depression that is designed to catch rainwater runoff in your yard, growing native plants that don't mind being partially flooded on occasion. Rain gardens are not water features or ponds, nor do they allow mosquitoes to breed. Properly installed rain gardens will let water infiltrate within 24 hours. Lake residents also have a role to play in protecting local water resources. Many residents enjoy having lush green lawns right up to the shoreline. While these lawns may look nice, they may be contributing to algal blooms when the excess fertilizer and nutrients used to keep them lush and green are washed into waterways. Planting a buffer strip or a bed of native plants along the shoreline can both slow the flow of water across the landscape and filter some of the excess nutrients out of the stormwater before it enters the lake. Managing stormwater runoff in the home landscape is everyone's responsibility. For more information on how you can protect our precious water resources, please contact the City of Angola Trine University MS4 Coordinator or the Steuben County Soil and Water Conservation District.